Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm gonna run up to my local card store, see if I can find anything. I've been having kind of a rough time finding stuff retail, so I thought I'd run into the uh, old hobby shop, give them some business and see what they have. Um, I will be hopefully looking through some singles. If I can find a few packs of some of those products I've been unable to find on retail, I may grab a couple of those as well. So thanks for jumping along in the ride with me and uh, I will let you guys know what I find once I get back. All right, we'll see you guys. All right, I am back home from the baseball card store. Let me do a quick recap of what I picked up, and then I actually want to rip into some of this, so I'm going to go fairly quickly. Uh, he had a bunch of singles, had uh, some boxes of just regular uh, singles of baseball, basketball, and football, and a lot of his, so he had some of them just in these soft penny sleeves, which I didn't really have a price on them, and I figured they would be about 50 cents each, but they ended up only being a quarter, so I got them for a really good deal. You can see here, numbered out of 99, Josh Young. Uh, Josh Young is how you pronounce that. You can see it right there. From Texas Tech, he's now with the Texas Rangers. I believe he was picked ninth overall out of Panini Contenders Draft Picks. That Josh Young card is pretty nice. There's a lot of people who think he can be a pretty big power hitter one day. Matt Chapman, I've talked on my channel how much I like him. And they get this pink parallel from Topps Chrome from last year. I got these of Kyle Seeger, the kind of mojo parallel and this pink one. I want to pick these up for my man Kyle at Kyle's Cards. I felt really bad after all the mishaps. We're trying to get the package for my 100 subscriber giveaway, or his 100 subscriber giveaway that I won. We kind of had some issues uh, with the shipping on that, and I think it was my fault. So I found these for him because he said he PCs Kyle Seeger. So I'm going to send these hopefully back to Kyle, and uh, he can put those in his collection. Uh, I grabbed this Matt Olson because I really think he is kind of under valued right now in the in the hobby just playing out on the west coast not as many people know about him but he's been very good for a couple years now and then a couple just first bowman bowman papers evan white who's i believe playing first base this year for the seattle mariners and this seth corey who had a really good year last year in the minor leagues i don't know i don't think he's actually with the big league squad or even the their minor league camp or whatever they call it but both these cards are numbered out of 499 and i'm not exactly sure out of Bowman Draft from 2018, or 2017, excuse me. I don't really know why these are numbered out of 499. So if you know something about them, why they're, <clears throat> excuse me, numbered out of 499, and they're not just like the regular first Bowman paper. It's not like all those are out of 499. So anyway, for some reason, these are out of 499, and I haven't really looked into it a lot, but if you know, just let me know. And then a Mike Clevenger, 20, or 1985 throwback card from this year's tops. I just like Clevenger, and I liked the way that one looked. Okay, then he just had some singles in top loaders, and the top loaders all had prices on them. So this is the Mike Trout from Topps Chrome this year. Anytime you get a chance to get a Mike Trout and to get it for $1, I thought was a great deal. This card, I think, is really cool. I didn't even pull it out of this uh, hard case, but look at, the, look at the refractory look on this. This is from Bowman Chrome. I don't even know what year, 2014 Bowman Chrome. It's numbered out of 99 for a dollar for you, Darvish, who has been very good this year. Um, now that he's kind of got his mojo back, he's throwing more strikes, just attacking the zone. This is just a really cool parallel. I don't know the name of it, but that is just a, a pretty cool card of you, Darvish, there back when he was on the Texas Rangers. So I picked that one up for a dollar. I was very pleased to find that one that back in there a little bit uh, I, he had this one for a dollar the Tristan McKenzie first Bowman Chrome McKenzie's kind of splashed onto the scene this year I wasn't really expecting him to get called up you know I bought some of his cards last year but then he like sat out the whole year and so his stock was kind of down but Cleveland needed him this year and he has been absolutely on fire picked up this one this uh, Bowman's best kind of refractor or what do they call it prism um, of Ian Hat for a dollar grab this one for my man um, baseball lover because I know he is a big Ian Happ guy. Also got this Jose Abreu who I think has a very good chance of being the AL MVP this year. It is just his rookie debut so it's not the pure rookie card but the rookie debut that one is also for a dollar. You can see a good price on that one. There's another Tristan McKenzie from Bowman Platinum. I don't know if this is a parallel or not or if it's just the base card. I wasn't really a person who bought a lot of 2017 Bowman Platinum but for a dollar picked up a couple Tristan McKenzie's. Uh, then a Tim Anderson. Here's another kind of like refractor from Bowman's Best. And this one actually says refractor on the back for $2 from 
2016 Bowman's Best. That's the rookie card of Tim Anderson. Rookie card refractor out of Bowman's Best. And then I picked up a couple of kind of lower-end autographs of players that I just kind of like. Here he is, Sean Murphy. You can see down here by my thumb. Sean Murphy, the rookie catcher for the Oakland A's. Uh, Sean Murphy for $4. I believe this is out of Optic. Last year's Optic, 2019 Optic it is. And then one other one, Nick Solak, who is now with the Texas Rangers. And this is just his Bowman paper uh, sticker autograph here from, looks like 2017, uh, 20, excuse me, 2018 Bowman. And this one was $3. So to get a couple cool autographs of players that I think are going to be pretty good um, for under $5 each, I thought was a good deal. So I spent about, I don't know, $15 or so on those cards. And then I picked up these packs. Uh, these packs were all hobby packs with the exception of the Bowman one. Uh, here I got a stadium club pack just because I've had such a hard time finding it. In any retail locations, you see the hobby pack there. This was $7, $7 for the stadium club pack. I got a pro debut just because I really like the prospects and look on for those minor leaguers. You can see hobby pack as well. This was $3.50. And then, whoops, sorry about that, knocked my tripod off to the side. And then I also was pretty excited to find this 2018 Bowman. I don't see the hobby sticker on this anywhere, so this might just be a retail pack. 2018 Bowman for $8.00. And I believe that is the set that has the Luis Roberts potential to get that Bowman paper or Bowman chrome, which would be a massive hit. And there's 10 cards in that pack as well. So I also picked up some, some supplies. I didn't actually um, put them on camera here, but I picked up some top loaders and I picked up some of those card stands, those little plastic stands. You know, whenever you get a cool card, you can stand it up like this and really display it because I didn't have any of those. So I picked those, some of those up from the card store as well. So uh, I don't want to put those on camera and waste any time. Let's go ahead and open this up. The cards that I want to go for first, let's go for Pro Debut. Pro Debut from 2020, J.J. Blade there, the first round pick of the Miami Marlins. He was a member of the Vanderbilt uh, Commodores, I believe. And let's see how we can do here with 2020 Pro Debut. You can get some pretty cool prospects. I don't know the chances of getting a hit out of this, but you never know what you'll run into. And I just really like how they have this matte finish on these pro debut cards. And it's like that every year. Fidel Brujan is with the Tampa Bay Rays organization. Uh, a lot of people think he's got a pretty good future as a speed defender, um, kind of a typical Tampa Bay infielder prospect. So that's Fidel Brujan, pretty highly rated guy in the Tampa Bay organization. Ronnie Mauricio. I've seen this name before. Ronnie Mauricio. Can't remember off the top of my head what organization he is with, uh, but I have seen his name before. Maybe he's with the Mets. I think he might be with the Mets. Yeah, he is with the Mets. I think he's actually in the major leagues right now because Ahmed Rosario was struggling so bad. Braylon Marquez for the Myrtle Beach Pelicans. Braylon Marquez there, a little left-handed pitcher. I like the logo. Sometimes these minor league logos are pretty crazy. Uh, he is with the Cubs, Braylon Marquez with the Cubs. There's the J.J. Blade. That's a nice one. First round pick of the, Flo or I keep wanting to say Florida, Miami Marlins. The cover boy here, J.J. Blade. That's a nice one. The Jupiter Hammerheads, obviously based in Florida as well. He's got a really nice future. Shirt and Apostle, there's a really, remember, he was one of the big names you could get out of Bowman, 2020 Bowman this year. And to get his uh, Wood Ducks card here, He's a member of the Texas Rangers organization. He's actually in the major leagues right now, too. Texas just kind of brought up all their young kids. Now that they're completely out of the playoffs, they just brought up all these young kids. And Shirt and Apostle um, is one of the guys who's got a few at-bats already. He's out of Curacao, the same country that brought us, what, uh, Xander Bogarts, maybe, and um, Andrew Jones. Riley Green was a... First round pick of the Detroit Tigers two years ago. Obviously, they took Spencer Torkelson in the 2020 draft, but they took Riley Green with their first round pick in the 2018 or 2019 draft. And he is another one that they have pretty high hopes for, for in the Detroit organization. Here we have Antonio Cabello or Caballo, probably Caballo uh, or Cabello. Uh, Pulaski Yankees, don't know a lot about him, but he is a New York Yankee prospect, so that might have some future value and here's another one this guy is really good through the mail autograph guy i may send this one to him anthony volpe 
second baseman for the Pulaski Yankees as well. Uh, he is uh, one of the guys who has a lot of 2020 Bowman cards that people have sent to him through the mail to get autographs. I uh, see so he was born in New Jersey, and that might be one that I get sent off because he is great through the mail guy, and I think he's a pretty good prospect as well. So that is the Tops 2020 Pro Debut. If you just like the finish on these cards, man, they're, they're pretty inexpensive and easy to find, and uh, they're really neat. So now let's go to Stadium Club, Stadium Club Baseball. This is my first chance to open a hobby pack. This was $7, and we get eight cards. A packs with a special insert may only contain six cards, although this one doesn't feel like it's any thicker. We'll see how well we can do. I just love the photography with Stadium Club every year. It's just so cool. And uh, I look forward. This is one of my favorite releases, if not my favorite release every year. Nolan Arenado there. Looks like he's got the Gatorade shower after celebrating a win in like a post-game interview or something. Here's a rookie card of Bruce Dahl Gratterall, who's done all right so far for the Dodgers this year. Part of that trade between the well, he was going to be traded to the Red Sox, but then he got traded to the Dodgers instead. Nick Senzel, or Senzel, uh, with the sleeveless throwback Cincinnati Red uniform. That's a cool photo. There's Austin Riley, who is going to be playing in the playoffs this year for the Atlanta Braves, celebrating a home run. We've got Dylan Cease, another Gatorade shower uh, here after a successful victory. Dylan Cease kind of had a rough 2019, which had a very good 2020. That's a nice picture right there. I like that one, Dylan Cease. Looks like we got a Power Zone insert of Bryce Harper. Power Zone and Bryce Harper. That's a cool one. First insert card we've got. We got a throwback one here of Big Poppy, David Ortiz. Look at that follow through. I think he's a Hall of Famer. And then to finish it off, we hit a Tommy Lestella, who is now on the Oakland A's. They traded him. Uh, from the Angels once they got out of contention to Oakland, who kind of needed some second base help. So we did hit the one insert right there, the Bryce Harbor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight cards there for $7. Didn't get anything too crazy, but that's the way it goes. And now here it is, the big show, guys. We're going to try to see if we can get that Luis Robert first Bowman, Bowman paper, and Bowman chrome that I don't even want to know what the price of those things are right now. There's only 10 cards in here. So we'll see how we do. There's probably only, what, two or three Chrome cards at most. So we'll see if we get lucky and can defy the odds. Looks like the cards are kind of a little jacked up right now. Not exactly in there nice and neat. These packs are obviously a little bit older, so cards a little bit stuck together. We've got a Parker Bridwell there right off the jump. Rookie card. We've got Eric Fetty, who's pitching in the major leagues with the Nationals right now in the rotation. Another rookie of Austin Hayes. So we're doing well with the rookies here right at the beginning. Salvador Perez has been on fire lately for the Kansas City Royals. Here are the Chrome cards. You know what? Let's actually let's actually move those to the end so we can see if we get anything lucky. Bryce Wilson and Luis Urias are my two prospect cards, and there is the security sensor. And so here we go. We got Domingo Acevedo. Not his first Bowman. We have a Rookie of the Year favorite, Willie Calhoun. 2018 Rookie of the Year favorite. Got a cool little hologram or refractor look to that. And that might be... Oh, no, there's one more after this. We got Kevin Newman. And then it is not the Luis Robert because he's at the press conference in his. This is an Atlanta Braves. Alec Jackson is the Bowman Chrome prospect card we hit at the end. So... Overall, we did not end up with the uh, Luis Robert, but you know what? I actually have one more of these. I believe this is from the same person. This is from a 77 cent pack I got from the flea market. I've had this for a long time. I just saw it was this Bowman Chrome, and I saw it was the, uh, the 2018 design. So I picked this up about a month ago. And if you look at this sticker, and like if you look at the, say, just I take this Ian Happ here, you can see it's like the exact same um, style, the exact same everything. And so the guy who runs the baseball card shop probably just puts a lot of his lower end cards in this flea market. But every once in a while, maybe he's had this pack in there for a while before Luis Robert really took off. So I'm not expecting there to be a Luis Robert in here, but we will give it a try. You see me open up grab bags from the flea market before and uh, there's usually been, there have been some that have some pretty cool cards in it. So 
it's not like he just is going to put all trash in here. He uh, obviously knows what he's doing, but maybe one slipped by. So we'll see if we can get a 77 cent flea market. Luis Robert, I highly doubt it, though. He probably doesn't have any first Bowman Chromes in here. Let's just take a look. Oh, we do. The second card's a first Bowman Chrome. Luis Medina for the New York Yankees. Don't know a lot about him. We got a Brian Mundell. We got Justin Williams for Tampa Bay. Nick Senzel. See, I mean, these are solid players for 77 cents. Freddie Peralta, pitcher, uh, starting pitcher. Hasn't been too bad. Tyler Freeman, he's kind of bounced around. I don't believe he's with the Indians anymore. There's Bryce Wilson, first Bowman, or Bowman Chrome. Corey Sedlock. We had a, a Aramis Aidman, I believe. Oh, that is his first Bowman. That's a pretty cool one. And David Peterson's in the rotation right now for the Mets and doing all right. Left-handed starting pitcher, Joe Perez. We got a Darwins and Hernandez, first Bowman. That's a pretty cool one as well for the Red Sox. Gregory Soto, left-handed pitcher. A Patrick Weigel, and to finish it off, Daz Cameron, uh, the son of Mike Cameron, former major leaguer, for the Detroit Tigers. So, all right, we did not end up getting the super big hit of the Luis Robert, but we still got to open up some awesome, awesome cards in Stadium Club. I took my chance at the Luis Robert, didn't hit it, but I, maybe I'll give that another shot. I really like the cards in the pro debut. And then to get the singles, the couple autographs, the Mike Trout Chrome. It was a pretty successful trip to the baseball card store today. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. And I will catch you all in another video. We'll see you.